in at the right time because guess what? It's time for Today Now's Critter Corner, and we're going to be talking all about ant eaters. Hey, that's right, Tracy. We're sitting down here with Dr. Franklin Kearns. Uh, he has just published the definitive book on ant eaters, a complete anatomy, behavior, and history. Dr. Kearns, we're honored to have you join us on Today Now this morning. Thanks, Jim. Always a pleasure to be uh, actually conversing with another human. He says that because he's been living with anteaters for, what, 15 years you spent living in the forests of Argentina. Uh, tell us about these incredibly interesting creatures. Well, you know, they're not very fascinating. The anteater is a solitary, uh, sedentary creature that spends its time sniffing uh, around the dirt, eating, sleeping. So it wasn't fascinating, certainly not after the first five years. Well, I'm very excited at the prospect of meeting one. Let's bring out the anteater. Uh, no, no. Uh, why in the world would I want to bring an anteater? Oh, I thought you were going to bring an anteater no, with you. No, that's what I told your producers because I didn't <laughs> want them to bring <laughs> okay, one. Okay, well, uh, well, let's just talk about them then because uh, do you have any uh, favorite anteater facts that you'd like to toss around? You know, they're on the endangered species list and they're all going to die soon. Well, it must have been interesting uh, uh, in some, at some uh, level, and I found uh, the book to be very interesting myself. That's surprising to me. Well, you know, you it's know there's pages and pages about the brown stripe of the lesser anteater known as tamundua of the Venezuelan grasslands. Tamundua. That's an interesting name. What does tamandua mean in Venezuelan? Catcher of ants. You know, one of the things I found fascinating about your book, Dr. Kearns, is that uh, anteaters don't really eat ants. They eat termites. <laughs> you know what is strange? I can't talk about anything else but anteaters. We just have a few minutes left, and we don't want to miss out on looking at the footage of the anteaters that we have to look at. Oh, God. Here they are. You know, they certainly look cute. No, they're not cute. They're not cute? No, they're not little. They're not mm. cute. Their tongue alone is two feet long. That's, you know, interesting. Fifteen years. <laughs> yeah. I think we're just about out of the, the footage anyway. You know, when I was nine years into the project, I said to myself, give it up, leave this jungle. But instead, I convinced myself to stay. I said to myself, publishing the number one resource book on anteaters will be worth it. Yeah. But, but the day it was published, it was completely anticlimactic. It felt like the physical manifestation of 15 years of boredom came into being. I'm sure that... You know, uh, don't it, apologize. I'm the one who wasted my life on this. 